Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be working on this absolutely filthy 2023 Cadillac Escalade. And if you think it should be a crime to let a $170,000 vehicle like this get this dirty, well, I'd have to agree with you. Now, I don't mean to come down on my buddy Chris too hard. I just happen to like these vehicles and love seeing them cleaned up and looking their best, which is exactly what I'm going to do today. This caddy is one of the nicer vehicles I've had the pleasure of working on, so I can't wait to get started blasting all the dirt away, which I'll also be able to do with the floor mats, but the rest of the interior here is going to need a finer touch, so stay tuned. Hey guys, before I get started on the vehicle, I just got a huge package in the mail that we need to open first. Now, I went on a bit of a shopping spree on Timu the other day, which is something I've done quite a few times lately, but this one was especially exciting because I got a whole pile of detailing stuff. If you haven't heard of Timu before, then you should probably crawl out from under the rock you've been living and check them out because they're a huge online marketplace where you can find almost anything you're looking for at insane prices. The best part though is that they're running a site-wide sale right now with savings up to 90% with free shipping and you can get free returns for 90 days. Serious? 90% off and free shipping? Yep. All you have to do is download the Teemu app using my link in the description and search my code GEEK100 to claim a $100 coupon bundle. New users can even shop my picks for an additional 95% off. You okay there, Mike? My mind is blown. Okay, well, while you sort that out, let me tell you guys more. Timu has almost anything you might be looking for, like clothing, electronics, tools, shoes, toys, pet supplies, jewelry, and so much more, and all at the best prices out there. I got this electric tire pressure gauge for only $24.99, and it works fantastically. This little handheld vacuum cleaner is perfect for leaving in your car, and it works awesome. Both of these items can be found by searching my code GEEK100. The tire pressure gauge is only $2.14 with the additional 95% off, and the vacuum cleaner is only 99 cents, guys. A few other items I picked up were this 75 foot expandable garden hose that I'm gonna use to replace my bulky and heavy rubber hose that I use here in the studio, some good quality microfiber towels that are perfect for wiping away all kinds of messes when you're cleaning, a handy little tool to use for the inside windshield and the hard to reach rear glass on cars, and this tool set that I'm planning to leave here in the studio for when I'm dismantling car interiors. If you can't find something you need on Timu, then you're doing something very wrong. That's right guys, take advantage of these deals and get free shipping on their site-wide sale with savings up to 90% by downloading the app using the link in the description. Thanks to Timu for sponsoring this video. Now let's get to work on the car. All right guys, well getting started on the Escalati, as Mike likes to call these, and as you probably know, I've worked on this particular vehicle a couple of times now, with the first being about a year ago when my buddy Chris bought it new and asked me to do basically a new car prep on it, which meant carefully removing all the protective plastics the manufacturer put on the vehicle then getting it washed for the first time, and then ceramic coating almost every inch of the vehicle to protect it and keep it looking its best. So I'm very curious to see how things are holding up today after a little more than 15,000 kilometers have been put on it so far. starting on the back, which is obviously going to be the dirtiest area on the entire vehicle. And while I don't believe it ever drives on gravel roads as Chris lives in the city, I'm still going to make sure to spray out the crevice as well as the swirling dirty mist that caused this mess is almost guaranteed to have deposited dirt into the crevices as well.
as I spray off the wheel here, one thing I'm trying to do is be really thorough when I do the spokes as there's a ton of surfaces that could easily be missed. Another tip I have for you guys is to always, and I mean always, close your doors by using the handle and not by grabbing the door with your fingers. That way you'll preserve the paint. You open and close almost every other door with the handle, so vehicles should be no different. Now as I finish up washing the Escalade here and getting it sprayed off, one thing that I've noticed about it after having detailed it twice before is that it's one of the drippiest vehicles I've ever done. Now what I mean by that is that when I dry the vehicle off, there's a ton of spots that continue to drip water out for many hours after I've washed it. And no, it doesn't matter if I use compressed air or not to blow them out, it still drips like crazy. Some vehicles are really good for that and others are really bad like the Escalade here.
Alright, well moving inside the vehicle now and you can see that the winter muck that coated the exterior has also found its way inside, but thankfully it's not bad enough that I have to consider removing the seats today, so I'll just get all the loose debris sucked up right now and then come back to finish the job here in a little bit. As I finish up the vacuuming here, I wanted to quickly remind you guys, in case you didn't catch last week's video, that the Detail Geek Spring Blowout Sale is on right now over at DetailGeekAutoCare.com. The entire site is on sale with savings up to 40%. It's our biggest sale we've ever done, and as always, everything ships out of the US with worldwide shipping available, so please do me a favor and check out the site and consider supporting the channel. Well, with there only being one tiny little spot in the carpet that needed extracting, I'll get to work on that, but if you guys remember I ceramic sprayed the carpet in here, which you can see is still holding up great since the solution was beating on top of the carpet. Now as I move my way around the vehicle, I'll let you guys in on a little secret. I am an absolute sucker for detailing an Escalade, and I think my buddy Chris knows that because every time he's asked me if I'll do it, I've said yes. Honestly, he's a good friend, but I really do enjoy working on Escalades because I don't have to fight against the quality of materials to get things clean, and considering I ceramic coated most of this vehicle, it really does make cleaning it later a lot easier and more enjoyable.
Now as I get all the touch screens in the vehicle cleaned, I just wanted to remind you guys that you should only ever use a damp microfiber towel to clean them as using any sort of cleaning agent could potentially damage the screen and then I'll just wipe it dry with a second towel. Okay, with the interior done now, I'll jump back outside and start on the paint with my ceramic spray coating, which is of course on sale right now over at DetailGeekAutoCare.com. This is a great product to use as a standalone protectant for your paint, or a great topper if your vehicle is ceramic coated. It's super easy to apply and remove, and really boosts the gloss and hydrophobicity of the paint. Well, there you have it guys. The Escalade is looking absolutely dynamite again. And based on what I've seen between this one and all the rest of the Escalades on the road, this is definitely one of the nicer looking ones and good color combination too. So my buddy Chris has a nice set of wheels. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one.